Praise the Lord. On your stage, I said, Praise the Lord. It's like I've never, I've not been here for a long time. And I, as I sat over here and looked at your church building, I said that we in Nigeria or America. And I believe. Most the good thing you have done here in unity with the leadership something good will never stop in your life and I know that many people are outside the halls the Lord is going to reach you where you are as our state pastor has told you tonight is supposed to be our leader's meeting and normally we speak English, English, English and uh, but as I saw you tonight, I wish I could talk to you in Europe by myself. <laughs> but tonight, somebody there, I said tonight, the God of all possibilities will touch your life. Mountains are going to move away. Okay, you see the bro. All our leaders who have been serving the Lord. You have been praying for other people. Preaching to other people. Lifting up other people. Leaders, something new is coming upon your life. All our workers who have been working for okay. the Lord, your reward is going to be given to you in full. Our members who have been coming faithfully, you're going to discover signs and wonders in your life. Tonight. All those who are invited. Maybe you're coming to deeper life here for the first time. You will drink of the water of life. Tonight you'll eat the bread of life. Something will turn in your life. And uh, get ready. We well, thank the Lord for the privilege. Even though I'm talking to the leaders all over the nation, all over Africa and beyond, what is good for the leaders is good for those who are being led. I will receive. Somebody there, I will receive. Close to us, we are going to pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you tonight. We bless your name. We know you are a mighty God. We know you are a great God. Tonight, you are going to do something marvelous, something great, something supernatural, something unforgettable. In every line tonight, in Jesus' name, as the word comes, let the wonders enter into every life. As we read the Bible together, blessedness from on high will come upon every line tonight, in Jesus' name. Miracles, transformation, power, authority anointing that breaks every yoke. I pray, Lord, you do it for everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Touch everyone. Turn us around. I pray, Lord, tonight, nobody here will go back home empty and dead in Jesus' name. Confirm each in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, God bless you, you can sit down. As we look at the word of God tonight, and we're talking about the God of all possibilities. 
I want to remind you that your problem is simple in the sight of God. Your challenges are very simple in the sight of God. Look at Matthew chapter 19. And I'm reading from verse 26. Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. It says, But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Tonight, our God is here. His power is here. His anointing is here. His goodness is here. And tonight, with God, all things are possible. I'm looking at Mark chapter 9. And we're reading from verse 23. Mark chapter 9. We're reading from verse 23. Look at what Jesus said. And Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. You know what the Lord is saying? He's saying if you can believe tonight, all things are possible in your life. As you believe tonight, all things will be done in your life. Since you believe tonight, all things are possible tonight for you. It will save your soul. It will sanctify you. It will fill you with the Holy Ghost. It will heal your sickness. He will deliver you. It will break every yoke in your life. That long-standing problem. Tonight it's going. Because you believe. All things are possible to him that believes. I'm looking at Luke chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 37. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Maybe the people try to help you. They said, this is hard. This is tough. Maybe you have a problem. A problem in the family. A problem on your job. A problem in your Christian life. You have tried and tried. You have struggled everywhere. And the problem was not solved. Tonight, you are before the God of all possibilities. And because you are with the God of all possibilities, with God, nothing shall be impossible. Tonight is your night. What are you there? Tonight is your night. In Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17. I'm reading from verse 20. Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, For verily I say unto you, Certainly I say unto you, Assuredly I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, Ye shall say to this mountain, be thou removed hence to yonder place and it shall remove tonight it shall remove tonight it will relocate oppression in your life will find their way evil powers in your life they'll find their way all the attacks and all the affliction they'll find their way and then it says and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Nothing shall be impossible unto, unto you. Say that for yourself. Nothing shall be impossible unto, unto you. We're looking at Romans chapter 8. How will this happen? How will the miracle happen in your life tonight? The miracle of forgiveness. The miracle of salvation, the miracle of power, the power that will roll all those challenges away. Romans chapter 8, reading from verse 32. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. 
he that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely give us all things freely freely there's no charge freely there's no struggle freely there is no human energy he will freely give us all things underline those words all things in your bible all things all things i will have all things i receive all things tonight all my prayers are answered all my needs are met all things waiting for you i receive i receive you have got it second corinthians chapter 9 i'm reading from verse 8 and god is able and god is able look at that challenge in your life god is able look at that difficulty in your life god is able and god is able to make all grace abound toward you that you always have in all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work you'll find in that verse again all things always having all sufficiency in all things something is going to happen to somebody there today miracle going to come upon you today because all things in this hall there will be hallelujah there all two and three will be praising the lord all four something is happening there five six and seven power is coming your way all those who are outside sufficiency in all things now in philippians chapter 4 philippians chapter 4 i'm reading from verse 13 i can i can i can look at the dictionary of your life and cancel impossibility out of that dictionary look at the book of your life and cancel i cannot cancel it from your life you can i said you can you will climb every mountain you will do everything god has ordained for you to do your tears are wiped away your sorrow is gone impossibility is cancelled weakness not having a backbone not able to stand the courage from heaven is entering your soul right now shout i can i can do i can do how many things here underline those words all things i can do all things through christ who strengthens me how does that happen how will it happen in your life that every prayer you pray tonight that god is going to answer how will it happen in your life that all those you have struggling to get now you are going to get tonight how will it happen the things i've been fasting for the things i've been praying for the things i've gone here and there for and i didn't get them and tonight is the night of the open door tonight is the night of opportunity tonight is the night of strength tonight is the night of power tonight you'll discover a new energy a new strength a new power a new vision a new ability and a new seal a new focus 
and then you today you begin to run the race the lord has set before you you will not fail somebody there said you will not fail you will not fall you will not falter because now you can do all things through christ who strengthens you strength is coming from above today i'm coming back to second corinthians chapter 9 i'm talking to you tonight on the sufficiency of god's grace for you the sufficiency of god's grace for you you're a minister of the gospel you're a preacher of the word of god you're an evangelist you are a preacher a pastor a leader an overseer the sufficiency of god's grace for you you're a witness for christ you are a soul winner and you are a worker and you have an assignment before you the sufficiency of god's grace for you you're leading the children you're leading the youths you're leading the women you're leading the language church and you have been facing some challenges and it's like you want to pack your baggage you want to throw off the responsibility how can i do this i'm telling you tonight the sufficiency of god's grace for you you're a servant of god you're a steward of god you're a saint of god you're a seeking soul maybe you need you don't even know the lord yet but have a good intention you know there is a god in heaven that is going to bless you that's why you came tonight you will not be disappointed for the minister for the member for the man for the invitee we invited you here god will do good in your life the sufficiency of god's grace for me say that the sufficiency of god's grace for me the grace of god will carry you through don't give up don't give up the journey is just starting don't give up something good is before you don't give up your miracle has come and god is sufficient and god is powerful it tells us when we're talking about grace grace for all ministers grace for all members grace for all men it's grace for every need it's grace in every situation it's grace in every trial it's grace in every temptation it's grace for every challenge of your life it is grace in every condition of life it is grace for anything you face there is initial grace you are just coming today and there's something an initial deposit in your life you cannot visit the house of god and go back empty and dead even our friends even our neighbors i'm visiting that house for the first time and I say, good morning. Oh, and they say, good morning. And they welcome me to enter. You know what? They'll give me a cup of water to drink. If human beings can do that. And you are coming for the first time today. Initial grace will enter into your life. But you know what? You know what? When they give me that cup of water, I receive tonight you will receive what god is giving to you receive in jesus name number one there is initial grace number two increasing grace 
you will go from grace to grace from mercy to mercy from compassion to compassion from love to love you go into the grace of God increasing grace number three inexhaustible grace you see you get saved initial grace you move on you get sanctified increasing grace you're filled and dwelt by the Holy Ghost and the grace is still coming in accessible grace you become a servant of God like Paul the Apostle and God said, my grace is sufficient for you. Inexhaustible grace. Grace comes upon your life. I said, grace comes upon your life. Saving grace. Sanctifying grace. Sustaining grace. Sufficient grace. Super abundant grace. Uh, you know something? Grace does not travel alone. When grace comes, something else is coming your way. The Bible talks of grace and peace. It'll give peace to your soul. Peace in your family. That fire that is burning in your home tonight, that fire will go down. Grace and love. Because when grace comes, it comes by love. Love is the engine that drives that grace into your life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Grace and mercy read your bible you'll find grace and peace grace and love and grace and mercy the lord will have mercy on you he'll have mercy on you and save your soul have mercy on you and heal your body have mercy on you and carry your body and do great important things in your life grace and forgiveness it is not something we merit. It is what God gives us free of charge. There is forgiveness for the sinner. There is forgiveness for the son in the family. You, you need to understand. When you come into the kingdom, there's forgiveness. And he wipes all your sins away. As we're children of God. There are times you do something and you think I shouldn't have done that you feel guilty you feel condemned you are a child of God how could I do that how could I say that how could I make a mess of my life like that remember initial grace remember increasing grace Remember, inexhaustible grace. Tonight, any guilt, any condemnation there, the sonship from the, the forgiveness from the father to the child will come upon you in Jesus' name. And it's grace and righteousness. That grace comes into our lives and then he makes us righteous. Grace and victory grace and triumph grace and dominion and then there's grace and glory grace and glory somebody there the glory of God will come upon your life tonight we came to look at God in a new perspective God the God of all possibilities and the God of all grace and the God of all power and the God who is going to bless everyone today. I'm a candidate for blessing. I said I'm a candidate for blessing. It will happen in Jesus' name. 
I'm going to examine this message in three perspectives. Number one, the provision of grace for all men. If you have been thinking, I pray, I never get an answer. Tonight you are going to get an answer. I'm looking for this, I never get it. Today you are going to get it. There's a provision of grace for all men. Number two, the possibilities of grace in members. Those who have come into the family of God. I'm a member of the church of the living God. I'm a member of the family of God. I know my sins are forgiven. I'm a child of God. I belong to the family. Well, you remember possibilities of grace for members. And now our ministers, our fathers and mothers and the Lord, the servants of God who are serving the Lord. There are challenges we carry. There are things we want to move. There's a vision we have. There's a calling we have. And we need the grace of God for that. Point number three, the power of grace in ministers. Number one, tell me number one. The provision of grace for all men. Are you a part of that all men? There's a provision for you. And tonight you will get it. All men. What kind of men? All kinds of men. Look at Romans chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 23. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Look up here. You see, many people don't understand. When it says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Why is it that all of us here in Nigeria, all of us here in Africa, why are we dark? Why are we black? You see, because you did something very bad. And you went and you plunged yourself into an ocean of shakol. What have you done? You've done nothing now. Your daddy, your mommy, they were dark. Their daddy, their mommy, also dark. Their mommy and their daddy also dark in color. And it came from the first person that was dark in color. And so, as you were born, then you became dark in color. That's how you were born. Why does it say all have seen and come short of the glory of God? Mm, somebody said, I don't tell a lie. I don't steal. I don't do this. I don't do that. I go my way gently. Listen, all have seen and come short of the glory of God. How? Adam and Eve sinned and came short of the glory of God. And their children, Cain and Abel, they inherited that dark color. And their children inherited that dark color. By nature, we inherited that sin. And because it was inside us, whatever is inside us will come out. You cannot have something inside you that will not eventually come out. Our first parents were sinners. They fell from the grace of God. They fell from the goodness of God. And their children, and their children, and their children's children, until it came to us, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Look at that child that was just born. When she, want, when she wants to suck uh, the mother, 
If a mother is not uh, quickly giving what she wants, it'll bite the mother. Who touched that child? It was inside her. And when she doesn't have her way, she wants to take this sin. And you're not giving to him in time. He cries and kicks and throws everything away. Who teaches him to be angry? It was inside him. And then if he tastes something like sugar, and uh, mommy is not there, he will steal that sugar and put it in the mouth. Who taught him to do that? It was inside him. And mommy comes. What's that? What are you eating? Nothing. Your mouth is swollen. Something is inside your mouth. What is that? Nothing. You took that thing. No. Who taught that child? Nobody. That thing was inside him. Because we inherited that sin nature. Seen us by birth. Seen us by practice. All have seen that come short of the glory of God. But thank God, grace is coming to us. Somebody there said, grace is coming to us. Look at verse 24. Be justified freely by his grace. Be justified freely by his grace. In that justification, there's forgiveness. In that justification, there is pardon. In that justification, there is salvation. In that justification, cleansing. Be justified by his grace. Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. It is for all men. Thank God it is for you. Tonight, the Lord will call you and say, I want to give you forgiveness. I want to give you grace. I want to give you salvation. Because you are a sinner. It's those who don't understand that. to say, no, I'm not a sinner. It's like, you're an African. No, I'm not an African. Your color can tell. Your appearance can tell. Even the texture of your hair can tell. Your build can tell. Everybody knows this is who you are. The angels know you are a sinner. God knows you are a sinner. Jesus knows you are a sinner. Your conscience knows you are a sinner. Your neighbors know you are a sinner. Come, he will give you grace. The provision of grace for all men is coming upon your life. What are you? It will come. Wonderful thing. That God will forgive every sin you ever committed since you were born into this world. Ephesians chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. By grace are you saved through faith. That not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Grace is free. It's a gift. Once you have to pay something for that, it's no more a gift. Once you have to fast before you are forgiven, it's no more a gift. Once you have to travel to River Jordan to go and drink the water of River Jordan, it's no more free. But where you are, you want forgiveness. Where you are, you want the grace of God. It is the gift of God. It is not by marriage. It is what he gives you free of charge. That not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Titus chapter 2. 
I'm reading from verse 11. Titus chapter 2. And I'm reading from verse 11. It says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared unto all men. The grace of God that, have, that bringeth salvation has appeared unto how many people? All men. Look up here. The sun shines for everybody. And if you need to dry your clothes or dry anything, bring those clothes out. The water is flowing for everybody. If you want to drink and be refreshed, come to the water. The air we breathe to keep us alive is provided for everybody. And if you want to breathe, calm and breathe. The grace of God has appeared unto all men. If you shut yourself inside darkness in the house, if you shut up yourself in a dungeon, if you shut up yourself in the prison of religion, there are some people they think that well grace the grace of god appearing to everyone uh -uh, i am here i am over there come out of that place and get the grace of god you cheat yourself this grace will give you salvation the grace of god that brings salvation when the grace of god comes to you it brings salvation to you. He said, you accept you're a sinner? You own it up, you're a sinner? Yes, I know I'm a sinner. I cannot save myself. I believe Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary. For there's no name given under heaven whereby anyone can be saved. But that salvation comes to you now. How will I have the salvation? Let me go and give money to the beggars before I have salvation. No, no. The grace of God is free. Let me go and rub with oil before I get salvation. No, the grace of God is free. Let me go and burn incense before I have salvation. The grace of God is free. Let me go and make an atonement before the gods before I have salvation. The grace of God is free tonight is coming your way that salvation is coming to you tonight all your sins will be forgiven for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men initial grace has appeared unto all men increasing grace has appeared unto all men inexhaustible grace has appeared unto all men. God has provided for all your needs. There are perceived needs. There are spiritual needs. You have material needs. You have family needs. You have physical needs. It's the grace of God. It is all of grace. And that free grace will bring abundance to your life tonight in Jesus' name. Salvation has come. Give me all your state, amen. Restoration has come. Look up here. There's some people, they cheat themselves. I pray you will not die in your need. You bad on people, you don't know how to say amen. You will not die in your needs in Jesus' name. A boy is going for an exam. He studied. Once he picks that pen, he will write everything and get a good grade. By carelessness, he lost his pen. 
and he's going to the exam hall and he doesn't have any pen he could easily tell daddy or mommy but shh, I cannot tell daddy daddy will say uh uh you lost that pen but daddy knows you are going for exam even if he's going to correct you he will give you the pen open your mouth and ask you had a bottle of water you had a bottle of water you are drinking to refresh yourself something happened you lost the bottle of water now you are thirsty you need water and some people are ashamed I don't want them to see that I was careless I lost my bottle of water open your mouth and ask there are some people that were saved before and now something happened secretly there you lost the joy of salvation you lost the peace of salvation you lost the victory of salvation he wants to restore it to you look at the prodigal son i will arise and go to my father and say father i am not worthy to be called your child make me one of the hired servants he wanted restoration what if he was ashamed what if he said i don't want anybody to know that i'm suffering here in the far country he arose and he came and forgiveness came and provision came there's restoration tonight i said there's restoration tonight i said lord i am sorry i lost that thing is coming back forgiveness will come back joy will come back restoration for you tonight in jesus name victory it will come by grace healing it will come by grace are you ashamed to call to come to god so that he will heal you dominion has come deliverance has come abundance has come you know what you're going to do a you ask you will ask because it's available for everyone tonight salvation is available restoration is available blessing is available ask be believe you will believe god cannot lie i said my god cannot lie somebody there god cannot lie whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved you are that you so ever tonight whosoever you'll get saved whosoever you'll get forgiven whosoever you'll get healed whosoever ask and believe see you will confirm you will confirm you will check yourself i have peace i have the sins my sins are forgiven the spirit of god is telling me i am the candidate for salvation you will confirm i am healed somebody there i am healed it will happen tonight number one is the provision for all men number two the possibilities of grace in members you see when we receive the grace of god and we get saved that's just the beginning something more is still about to come in your life possibilities what are the things that are possible well we know that all things are possible and it is by the grace of god let me just show you one by one acts of the apostles chapter 11 acts chapter 11 verse 21 and the hand of the lord was with them 
And a great number believed and turned to the Lord. You will turn to the Lord tonight. And through your life, many people will turn to the Lord. Then the tidings of this things came to the ears of the church, which is at Jerusalem. And he sent forth Barnabas that he should go as far as Antioch. Look at verse 23. Who, when he came and had seen the grace of God, was glad. After tonight, My dear sister, if your husband has been weeping over you because of a challenge you have, and it's a reproach to the family, after tonight, your husband will see the grace of God and be glad. I'll be looking at that tonight has come. Your wife that has been complaining will see the grace of God in you and be glad. You yourself, when you see yourself tonight, you get up, you're strong, you walk like a soldier. You say, Is it me? I said, Is it me? Your blind eyes will open, your limb legs will be strong. And that thing that is knocking your head, God will knock the hand of the devil away. You will see something in your life tonight. You'll see the grace of God in your life tonight. You'll be glad in Jesus' name. And then after that, he exhorted them that were purpose of heart, they should cleave and clinch unto the Lord. Let's come back to that Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2. I'm reading from that verse 11 again. It says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly laws, we should live soberly and righteously and godly in this present world. What are the possibilities of grace in our lives? The sin that overcame you before, after tonight, you will overcome that sin. When the grace comes into our lives, you will live a righteous life. It will be easy because God will change your nature. He will take the nature that likes to sin. He will give you the nature that likes to live in righteousness. That's what the grace of God does when he comes into our lives. And the grace of God will not leave us weak, powerless, anemic, as if we cannot do anything. The grace of God will make you strong will make you stand against temptation and trial teaching us that we deny ungodliness and worldly lust we live soberly righteously and godly in this present world looking for that blessed hope the grace of God will bring hope in your life and then he goes on to say the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity he will redeem us from all iniquity the possibilities of the grace of God for all members he redeems us from all iniquity 
if you have been struggling and fighting against this, against that, and you didn't have victory before, your day of victory is starting today. He will redeem you from all iniquity. He will take you out of all iniquity. He will cleanse you from all iniquity. He will rescue you from all iniquity. He'll say, that's a safe soul. Iniquity, get out of there. Iniquity, don't come near that place anymore. And then he will give you the power to say no. From today, you'll say no to Satan. You'll say no to temptation. You'll say no to your weakness. And when that thing comes and he says, do this and do that, and that's a bad thing. You say, I have graduated from that school. I am no more there. Somebody there, I am no more there. Somebody there, I am no more there. And then, when the devil came in the past, they have come, they have come, they have come. They want to pull me down. I don't know what I'm going to do. They force me to drink it. They force me to smoke it. They force me to do something. From today, power will come into your life. And no devil, no demon will be able to force you to do anything anymore. You will look at Satan, at the temptress, at the tempter in the face, and you say, for the first time, I tell you, no. Somebody show me how you are going to tell the devil no. All those smokers will come. Show me how you are, what you are going to tell them. All the gang members will come, they are into occultism, and they put this and this together, and they're inviting you, what are you going to tell them? Because, and then the people that, you know, they want to plan evil uh, behind the door, and they're saying, come with us, come with us, and in the past, you used to go with them. What are you going to tell them now? No. Even your face will tell them no. Your standing will tell them no. Your posture will tell them no. And the words of your mouth will tell them no. Because now you are stronger than them. And greater you see that you see you. Who am I talking to now? I said greater you see that you see you. Than he that you see the world. You are victorious from tonight in Jesus' name. Look at the end of that verse. And purify unto himself a peculiar people, sealers of good words. A peculiar people. You know what grace does in our lives? Before grace came into your life, you are a common person. You are one of them. They push you here, they push you there. You are a common person. Before the grace of God came to you, you are as weak as every other person, as sinful as any other person, as poor as any other person, as a coward like any other person. Before the grace of God came to you, you were a failure like any other person. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Grace is coming. Open the door. Grace is coming. Welcome this. Grace is coming. Power is coming. Anointing is coming. Strength is coming. Authority is coming. Courage is coming. Open the door. Grace has entered. And now he leads you out of being a common person to a peculiar person. The way you stand, you're peculiar. What you believe, you're peculiar. Your understanding of the Bible is peculiar. The courage you have is peculiar. The stand you take is peculiar. 
to purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works I will never be the same again I said I will never be the same again grace comes to you and lifts you up grace comes to you and builds you up grace comes to you and it transforms your life grace comes to you and brings freedom to you grace comes to you and it brings greatness to you grace comes to you and brings holiness and godliness to you grace fills you redeems you and changes you induce you with power transforms your life that you become now a peculiar person in the sight of the Lord and tonight is that night and grace also brings sanctification it brings holiness it will wash you with the blood of Jesus Christ even on the inside of you you will flee, feel clean and pure and righteous you say praise the Lord I got something extra today I said you got something extra today first Peter chapter 1 first Peter chapter 1 initial grace brings salvation increasing grace brings holiness sanctification look, look at chapter 1 of 1 Peter I'm reading from verse 14 as obedient children not fashioning yourselves according to your former lusts in your ignorance so when you are common you are ignorant when you are common, you are weak. When you are common, you are cheap. When you are common, you are failing. When you are common, you just yielded to every loss and every temptation. But now somebody there, you are special. I said now you are special. Now you are peculiar. It says now you will not fashion yourself according to your former lusts. But as he which has called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. You know, there are some people they don't understand that to be holy in all manner of conversation lifestyle when they come to church for that hours for those hours of service they appear holy and gentle sit down there yes bro stand up there yes pastor go this way yes sister and then go that way yes sir in church when they get outside that gate come here it's me you are talking to like that we're not in church anymore don't talk to me like that again they don't understand in all manner of conversation everywhere every time so be holy when you're talking to people in the church that's a worker and the worker said we are the ushers here stand up from that place go to that place yes brother and then they go there when they get back home and then maybe it's daddy that said hey my boy he'll be doing what he's doing you'll act as if he didn't hear his name Gabriel do not answer until daddy goes there did you hear I was calling you and then he will look up 
they will not even answer okay stand up I go and do that he cannot obey the daddy as he obeyed the usher in the church be ye holy only in the church outside there outside the gate uh -uh. that thing has changed tonight I said that thing will change tonight so that in all manner of conversation in all conditions of life anywhere you find yourself a child of God is a child of God everywhere you will be holy somebody there said you'll be holy it says in verse 16 because it is written be ye holy for I am holy well thank God your time has come I said your time has come it will make a change in your life the grace of God has come in I'm going to read this wonderful verse again and it's in 2nd Corinthians chapter 2nd uh, Corinthians I'm reading from chapter 9 verse 8 and the God and God is able to make all grace abound toward you we're going to make it personal you read it after me are you ready over there outside are you ready okay read it after me and God is able to make all grace happen toward me that I that I always have it always have it all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work it's confirmed in your life in Jesus name now the power of grace in ministers the power of grace in the worker the power of grace in everyone that is called of God whatever God has called you for it will give you the grace to accomplish it I said you will be an achiever the work of your hand will prosper in Jesus name pastor you will prosper preacher you will prosper overseer you will prosper leaders you will prosper those who are witnessing and winning so soul winners you will prosper the power of grace in ministers look at first corinthians chapter 3 first corinthians chapter 3 and here we're reading from verses 9 and 10 first corinthians chapter 3 reading from verse 9 and from verse 10 it says in verse 9 for we are laborers together with God you are not alone you are working with God God is working with you you are God's husbandry you are God's building according to the grace of God which is given unto me as a great as a wise master builder I have laid the foundation and another builder thereon but let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon Paul was talking as a minister as a Christian leader as an overseer as a shepherd and he said all those things he did he did by the grace of God the work prospered in his hand by grace 
the work in your hand will prosper. And it is a free grace of God that is coming to you. Look at chapter 15 verse 10. Chapter 15 verse 10. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. A writer, a writer and author, by the grace of God, I am what I am. An evangelist, a soul winner, by the grace of God, I am what I am. A pastor, a shepherd, I am what I am, by the grace of God. Whatever work God has given you to do, it is by grace. When you are getting tired, when you are getting weary, don't say, I cannot do anything anymore. The load is too heavy. The challenge is too much. I don't know I'm going to achieve this and that. Remember, there is initial grace. When you started the work of God, you were happy and excited. You were energetic and empowered. And you run here and you run there. Now, if you are getting tired, initial grace appears to be drying out. There is increasing grace. Go back to God. Grace will be supplied. And tonight, the grace of God is coming more into our lives in Jesus' name. There is increasing grace. There is inexhaustible grace. For by the grace of God, I am what I am. And His grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored. But I labored. That means I preached. That means I traveled. That means I walked. That means I evangelized. I labored more abundantly than them than they all. Yet not I. Yet not I. But the grace of God which was with me. That grace is coming to you. Multiplied full today. You will not be tired. You will not be weary. You will not say, this is too much. You will not say, I cannot. I can. Somebody there, I can. I can do all things. I can do all things. I can do the work of an evangelist. I can do the work of a soul winner. I can do the work of a preacher. I can do the work of my profession. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He will strengthen you. Weakness will vanish away tonight. All the weariness will vanish away tonight. Look at this now in 2 Corinthians chapter 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. I'm reading to you from verse 9. And he said unto me, and he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. Paul the apostle was having a challenge. No matter Paul the apostle was very strong. But something that appeared stronger than him came upon him. And he said, I prayed. And I told the Lord, Take this away from me. And God gave him an answer from heaven. Somebody there, an answer is coming for you. A solution is coming for your problem. The Almighty God said, My grace is sufficient for you. That load you thought was too heavy to carry, bend down, carry it now. My grace is sufficient for you. That assignment you thought was too difficult and too tough to go through. 
put your hand to the plow. Now you can do it in Jesus' name. My grace is sufficient for you. Greater grace is coming tonight. Mighty grace is coming tonight. As we pray, you'll find a new energy, a new strength, a new power, a new ability, a new courage. Are you there? I'm looking for the man I'm talking about. I'm looking for the woman I'm talking about. You are going to get it in Jesus' name. Acts of the Apostles, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 31. And when they had prayed, the place was shaking where they were assembled together. We're going to pray tonight. Are you getting ready? Every, everything shakeable will shake out of your life. All the foundations of your prison doors, everything will shake out today in Jesus' name. All the stronghold of the enemy, today is your day. It will be shaking away from your life in Jesus' name. Those prison doors will open. The window of heaven will open for you. When they had prayed, the place was shaking where they, where they were assembled together. And they were all filled. How many of them were filled? And they were all filled. How many of them were filled? And they were all filled. Somebody is receiving blessing tonight. Salvation tonight. Restoration tonight. Strength tonight. Power tonight. Courage tonight. Healing tonight. Deliverance tonight. And the world filled with the Holy Ghost. And they speak the word of God with boldness. 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 Anybody having need of greater boldness there? Greater courage there, greater authority there, greater power there, greater assurance there, boldness. Shout it out. Tonight, as you come to the Lord, God will plant something inside your spirit. The courage of a conqueror. The boldness of a champion. The authority of a child of God. You will go out in the strength of the Lord. Why are you there? Let heaven see your hand. Let God see your hand. Authority. Power. Boldness. All that timidity. All that hiding. All that cringing. That spirit of a coward, I command you, go out in Jesus' name. The courage of a conqueror, the boldness of a champion, the spirit of the lion of the tribe of Judah, to come into your life in Jesus' name. In verse 33, in verse 33, and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Great grace was upon them all. Great grace was upon them all. Upon them all. Upon them all. From today, great grace will be upon you. From today, great power will be in your life. A new strength to serve the Lord. A new strength to work for the Lord. The assignment God created you for. When God created you, He knew what He wanted you to do on earth. Tonight, you will come back to the source, to the origin. 
And then you are going to begin that work. Nobody will drown you out of the responsibility the Lord has given you. Over there, great grace. Are you there, great grace? I said, are you there, great grace? Are you ready? Initial grace. Increasing grace. Inexhaustible grace. It's bowed and eyes closed. Tonight is our night. The night of salvation. It's the night of forgiveness. It is the night of grace. It is the night of joy. It is the night of power. Tonight, your night has come. God wants to forgive you. Wherever you are, there is grace for all men. All have seen that come short of the glory of God. For being justified freely by the grace of God. Justified freely by the grace of God. Freedom. Salvation. Forgiveness. Pardon. Is coming now free of charge. And you want this forgiveness? For all the sins you have committed since you were born. Christ offers it to you right now. Where are you? You raise up your hand. Outside, God wants to see your hand. Anywhere you are, God wants to see your hand. He wants to bring forgiveness to you. He wants to bring salvation to you. My brother, my sister, you need restoration? The Lord wants to restore you right now. You will raise up your hand anywhere you are. If you are raising up your hand, inside or outside, so that this grace for forgiveness will come to you. So that this grace for salvation will come to you. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. You say, here am I, Lord. Wonderful. Wonderful. Forgiveness is coming now. Wonderful. Salvation is coming now. Wonderful. The water of life. The bread of life. Eternal life is coming to you right now. The peace of God is coming to you right now. Anywhere you are, inside or outside, you raise up that hand. I need forgiveness. I need forgiveness. I need salvation. I need restoration. I failed in the past. I failed in the past. I sinned in the past. Lord, forgive me. You raise up your hand. And you stand up. And the moment you do that, remember grace is free. It's a free gift of God. The forgiveness is free. The salvation is free. The restoration is free. The peace of mind is free. Raise up that hand and stand up. And say, Lord, I am here. Lord, I am here. Lord, I am here. He'll forgive you right now. While you are standing, tell the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I went astray. I'm sorry I did evil. I'm sorry I did what I shouldn't have done. I am a sinner. But I believe Jesus is my Savior. I believe forgiveness is mine now. Because of grace, the free gift of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Or your state can do better than that. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep on standing. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you tonight that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I pray for all these who have come for your grace. The free gift of salvation. The free gift of forgiveness. The free gift of restoration. According to your love. According to your mercy. And your compassion. Forgive them in Jesus' name. 
Let your spirit bear witness in their hearts. Their sins are forgiven. Give them the victory, O Lord. That from today, the things that made them to fail before, that thing will not continue in their lives. Salvation, pardon, peace, reconciliation with God, and the righteousness of Christ to be given to them right now. I thank you because search. Give me another amen. The Lord has answered. I am forgiven. Praise the Lord. Our counselors are near you there. And our counselors will very quickly attend to you. I call on our state overseer to help us during this counseling session. Pastor Fola be the state overseer. In all the hall and as well as outside the hall of the meeting. Please, counselor, write in capital letters. If they can write, give them the biro with you to write on their own. Give your name to us. The proper address where you are living. At your nearest bus stop. Bus stop. Your telephone number. Number. The region you are coming from. Region. Please write also for a student the school where you are attending. You got an email address. Take write down your email addresses. Address email. This will help us to follow through with you. Write the correct name you are known in the community where you are coming from. Counselor, please go outside to the streets, to the podium, to the open feed at the back of the hall. Please attend to all these converts. Now that you are born again, give us the correct name that you are known with. And counselors test the, phone, the telephone number you are giving so that you can write correct telephone numbers. Number Workers from a Gomasha region, you have to move to the open feed at the last crusade ground. I want to say, Lati of Gomasa, you won't lose it be Bagede, Tabangati, I say, you pull on going, you really need your name to attend to all the convert on the open feed. Lati loss, or do I want to fire you one for Lua, maybe Bagede to along? Let's write legibly. A Jackia call, Lona Tioba say, write in capital letters. A Jackia fillet and lack all the necessary information on the phone. Please ensure that you put them down there. I want to remind you that we special gathered together on the 14th of this month. In all in all the regional headquarters, as well as the group of districts in the Baden region. We are meeting together 1 p.m. on Sunday. To interact together. To pray together. And to also get more blessings together. Please counselor, remember to give those convert the convert packages after writing down their names. Please don't go away. We still have the second part of the miracle prayer 
the man of God is coming back to pray for all our problems and challenges. Castle please do quick, write those names, please clearly so that we can be able to trace those addresses. All the supervisors, please ensure that every area is covered. Hall 1, Hall 2, Hall 3, 4 to 7. All the spaces between the hall as well. Let's ensure we cover all the areas. If you have not been attended to, please raise up your hand so that you can be attended to. Now come to them, they will come near you. Castellus, let's hurry up. But as let us also be detailed in whatever you are writing down. Outside towards the supermarkets outside towards the main gates outside towards the podium let's ensure that every area is covered if you have finished your section send a message to us here so that we can know we have all done the necessary Attention, giving attention, attention to the convert. See about your party near Catini, a Tawalo Lobo, Kia Lima, go away if you don't need to yet. Let him find what of a year one for you are. Don't go away. Emma say low. The session of miracle prayer is coming. A balati, a dry say, you are no symbol. This is your day. Or Jotty Relly, you will not miss it. Could you for so as you sit down there, keep praying. We are expecting the counselor to give us a feedback if you have covered all the areas. Inside the hall, outside the hall, at the back of the hall, by the walkways, Let's ensure that we covered every area. And we want the brother in charge of the counseling to signal to us if every area has been covered. Please don't go out, don't go with the converse leaf, drop it with the supervisors. Counselor, don't come back to your seat. Stay with the people. So go back and stay with the people. They are going to bring out those people after the prayer, miracle prayer. For testimony. So after counseling, stay with the people. Outside, inside, stay where you are. God of miracle will meet you at that point. Counselors. Are we true? Say at the Let's say the representative here so that we can know whether you are true or not. In all the halls, outside the hall, under the streets, on the feed, beside the supermarkets, near the men's hostel, near the men's hostel, near the men's hostel, towards the coordinator's challenge. Give us the feedback. But make sure you write 
correctly. You write legibly. You write in capital letter. God bless you as you do that. And let's get ready for the miracle prayer. The man of God is coming up. Prepare your hearts. Prepared by prayer. Prepared by waiting upon the Lord. Prepared Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. Your miracle has arrived. The healing is here right now. All those yokes are broken tonight in Jesus' name. Blind eyes will be opened. Deaf and dumb will speak and hear. The lame will rise up and walk. That tumor will vanish away. Cancer will be healed. All the attacks and afflictions of the devil are cancelled tonight. All you will do is to raise up your hand. And remember the healing is coming by grace. It is free of charge. Jesus purchased it for you on the cross of Calvary. He bore the pain, he bore the sickness, he bore all your shame. By his stripes you are healed. So as we pray, when you say amen, you say it with confidence. You say it with expectation. And then when you hear the final amen, you know it is finished. And you check up yourself. You will find your healing there. Are you ready now? Raise up that hand. Father, in Jesus' name, we bless your name tonight. You are the God of power, the God of all possibilities. And you are the God of promise. You are the God of all provision. You have given us all the provision. And you said we only need to ask. Lord, I'm coming on behalf of everyone here tonight. And I pray, Lord, heal them in Jesus' name. And I pray, give them the miracle in Jesus' name. Destroy the works of the devil in Jesus' name. That mental problem, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. Madness be delivered in Jesus' name. Spirit of insanity, come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are very swelling in their body. That tumor, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. I command the elephant chassis. Come out in Jesus' name. And that water bag in the head, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Any kind of swelling in your body, Lord, touch them now. Deflate that thing now. Vanish away in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any incurable disease. Answer, be healed in Jesus' name. Also be healed in Jesus' name. Asthma be healed in Jesus' name. And that typhoid be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for that anger to vanish away right now. Those who have diabetes, heal them in the Jesus' name. Eye blood pressure be healed in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus name any kind of disease any kind of infirmity any kind of pain or sickness there be healed in Jesus name Lord I pray for those who are deaf and dumb the Lord touch those ears right now touch the tongues right now 
your tongue be loose in Jesus name begin to hear begin to hear begin to speak Lord confirm it in Jesus name I pray for those who are blind that dimness of sight to vanish away cataract to vanish away glaucoma to vanish away blindness come out in Jesus name Lord touch their eyes open their eyes give them sight give them sight bright sight bright vision begin to see in Jesus name I pray for those who are laid that paralysis I command you come out in Jesus name short leg go out in Jesus name broken bones join together in Jesus name Lord I pray for those who are withered in any part of their body be healed in Jesus name Lord I pray that everywhere now there will be healing everywhere miracle everywhere signs and wonders Lord do it in Jesus name in all the halls outside the halls left right and center at the back and far away miracle healing deliverance victory confirm it O Lord we thank you because I know you have done it in Jesus name I pray it is done I said it is done. Those blind eyes can be open now and you begin to see. Those who are lame, you can rise up now, begin to walk. You brought anybody there for them, you can talk to them. They will hear, they will speak. Any soul in the body, check up, it's gone. God has touched you. And when you see that miracle, you will shout out, praise the Lord. I will rejoice with you. Check up yourself. You have a testimony tonight. You have a testimony tonight. It is done. It is done. Amen. Amen. Check up your body. That eyes is open. O Junior, Otila. Amen. Amen. It's happening in all seven. What is selling in Burger KJ? It's happening in all seven. On selling in Burger KJ. Check up yourself. Yara Rewu. Check up your body. Yara Rewu. That lameness is gone. Yara Yatilo. That blindness is gone. If for Junior Tilo. Check up your body. Yara Rewu. It is done. O Tiri Bear. Oshas. And your son, counselor, and your banana man, check up the people. And your way, you will want to see them, bring them out. There, but you report you repair and more that they want them into the hall of meeting. And what's the no bagger, but then to the front of the hall. See what you bagger, check up, check up. Yeah, what, yeah, what, check up, check up. Yeah, what, yeah, what, what you cannot do before. On toll, they said, let's start to do them now. There is this one because you are healed. Tori at the more, Lara, because you are delivered. Tori at the down, because you are set free. Tori at the two, see, the yoke is broken. That you for check up, yeah. Whoa, check up, yeah. Whoa, check up, yeah. Whoa, that thing is no more there. Oh, no one better than your simba. The pain is no more there. The Lord, I know simba. The deafness is gone. He had it in law. The darkness is gone. He did it in law. Open your eyes and see. Now, you rewa, go real. Speak to their ear. A power sorrow. They are they cannot hear. One leg, bye bye. Your leg is straightened. The bones are joined together. The short leg is coming out. The tumor has disappeared. That brain tumor has gone. Check it, check it, check it. And once you see it done, shout praise the Lord. We are waiting. And do we want to hear your testimony. You want to see the first person to testify tonight. From outside. From inside. From all the halls. Yes, it's happening in hall one. 
Check yourself. Yara Rewo. Hall two. Bagakeji. Hall three. Bagaketa. Hall four. Bagakeri. Hall five. Bagakaro. Hall six. Bagakefa. It is done. Oh, theory bear. I cancel all check up on them. And you are going in the morning. And bring them out yes, to the front of the all the halls. See what you go go bagan. And then the space between the halls. Ati awa la photo wa la ane bagan. We want to hear your testimony. Afe gwe ri re. Shout of hallelujah. Iko hallelujah. Outside the hall. Lo de bagan. Inside the hall. Ne no bagan. Shout of hallelujah. Iko hallelujah. It is done. Oti ri be. Amen. Amen. It's happening in hall four out. Hall five. On sale ni baga karon. Check it, check it. Eh ya wo, eh ya wo. Don't just be somebody a spectator. Iwa maka je oluwona. Be a participant. Iwa na je alabakwe. Be a testifier. Je ni ti o jeri. You are not going home without problem. Oh, ne be wa la yen lo le. You are not going without challenge. Oh, ne lo le pelu ipe ni ja re. We want to hear the good thing the Lord has done in your life. A fe gbo ohun rere ti o luwa ti se no ye re. Our leaders as region overseer group leaders please let's come out and interview them. E mo wa wa si waju eyin olusu agutan region ni. Ayin olusu agutan de po ekun. E wa fi oro wa won lenu wo. From outside, bring them inside. Lati ode emu awalewa. Once you have received your miracle, shout hallelujah. Nekete to bati kubase ya no re unie bank hallelujah o. Yes, bring him out. Bring him out. Emu ajade, emu ajade wasi waju. What you cannot do before, start to do it now. Yes, bring them out, bring them out, bring them then, out. Emma, mo wa jade bo, emu wa jade wa. We are waiting for you. And do not deny. Leaders. Enya adari. Region overseers. Enya la koso region. Group pastors. Enya oluswa guta ni tepo. Let's come out and interview the people. Enya de wa e wa fioro wa we ya yile no. And let's see less spectacular miracle. Kia se anu asanya ise yano. You want to hear what the Lord has done here tonight? Afe ba onti oluwa ti sheni la le. Come out, come out, come out. Eja de wa, eja de wa. Yes, it's happening all two over there. Ben, o tin sele ni baga keji loke la. Bring them out. Emu wa eja de wa. Bring them to the front of the hall. Emu wa wasi wa ju baga. And move them to hall five. Yes, emu wa wasi baga karo. In the front of hall five. Ne wa ju baga karo. Brethren. Leaders, let's be hurry up in, to do the interview so that we can hear the those testimonies. Enyara, enyadari, etete foro wa nwa le nwo ki ale ma gbe ri won. Check up yourself wherever you are. Yara re wo ni biki biti o ba wa. Don't be an onlooker. Ma se je oluworan. Your miracle is already there. Ise ya no re o ti wa nbe yen. God has done yes, I can hear some jubilation outside there. Bring them in. Bring them in. Mo ngba awon idamu so kan lo de long. Emu wa wale wa, emu wa wale wa. This is your day. Ojo ti re le yi. A day of jubilation. Ojo ajo yo. A day of dominion. A day of sakoso. A day of healing. A day of wisdom. A day of deliverance. A day of dandy. It is done already. What you repair now? Exercise yourself. You want yara rewo. Check up yourself. Yara rewo. Find out. Say what do you? Those things you cannot do before. I want to tell you, let's tell it. Start to do it. Better see say what? Stretch for that hand. No one yes it ah. Stretch for that leg. No yes any jade. You are healed. Ati mu ala rada. You are delivered. Ati da oni de. Where are you? Ni bolowa. Come out. Eja de wa. Please let's light the people up. Eja ki anwe yanye. Eja ki ato wa. Our group leaders and region of Asia, please let's do quickly. 
eyin alakoso idipo ekun ati alakoso ri joni e je ki a se kan man ke a it is done o ti ri be it is finished o ti pari you are healed ati wo san check it up yewo open your eyes and see la oju re ki ori ran speak to their ear they are going to hear e soro si eti won won o gboran stretch for your hand the wither hand is healed na wo re sita owo gbigbe yen o ti gba iwo san stretch your legs the legs are healed na ese re jade ese yen ti gba iwo san check your tummy ye ikun re wo those things are gone awon kan won yen ti pora the solid part is that disappear if it o wu yen o ti lo we are waiting anduro Yes, are we ready? See at this setan. Check up, check up, check up. Yeah, wo, yeah, wo, yeah, wo. Check up, check up, check up. Yeah, wo, yeah, wo. It is done. O ti ri be. The miracle is there. He say ya no yen wa be. You are healed. Ati wo san. You are delivered. Ati da oni de. Let's interview them. Check up your body wherever you are outside inside. Yara are we ni biki biti oba wa ni no le tabi lo de. Cancel up bring them out the minute they you see it is done. Enyi agba ni ni moran emu wa jade ni kete ti eba ti ripe ise ya nu ye ti te wan lowo. It's already done. O ti te wan lowo. Yes come to hall 5. E ma mo won po wa si iwaju ogbaga karan Check up yewo Check up e yewo and shout praise the lord ke o ke e ba mi hallelujah o yes it's happening hall four ah o tin sele ni gbaga kerin o bring them out e mu wa jade wa Your miracle is there. He said, "Ya no, they want be." Bring them out. Emu wa jade wa. You are the next to testify. You want learn it here? You can. Check those your blood. Eye awon ti e mu wa yin because the miracle is there already. Awon ti o gbe papa da ni eye won wo se ya nu yen ti se. You need you don't need that trust is again. Won o ni lo papa won yen mo. The Lord has healed him. Oluwa ti wo san. Yes, all four bring them out. Baga kerin e mu won jade wa. Is healed. O ti gba iwo san. Is delivered. Ati da ni de. She is free. Ati tu sile. She is delivered. Ati tu obirin ya sile. A brother coordinating the testimony. Can we have the testifiers? Eyin arakunrin wa ti o se akoso eri. E je ki a ni awon to fe je ri bayi. Your miracle is there. He said, "Ya no re wa nbe." Your miracle is there. He said, "Ya no re wa nbe." Test yourself. Ya ra re wo. Examine yourself. Ya ra re wo da da. Look at it again. You want to ye wo. It is gone. O ti lo. The problem is over. Wa la yen ti do pin. You are healed. Ati mu o lara da. You are delivered. Ati da o ni de. Check yourself outside the hall. Yara re wo. Lord de baba. Ni abe agolon. On the main feed. Ni odu ori papalon. Cancelos bring them in. Eyin agba ni ni moran, e bu won wo le wa. Please bring them in. E jowo e mu won wo nu le wa. Can we have the false testimony? E je ki agbo eri akoko.
Yes. Your name? Where are you came from? What happened to you? Praise the Lord. Verse 16. Praise the Lord. It is time for testimonies. The power of God has moved and is moving in the camp. It has moved and is moving in the camp. The Lord has delivered some people. The Lord has wrought great miracles for some people. And we want to hear what the Lord has done. Here is the first testifier. Uh, what's your kilo Lati Lati Jabo Oluwa Tony accident. Only accident in Dueco. So, when Batima won't know for no way. In the one film, Pebo, a Yato one bet. So, man, for long, she for my lay. In Colonel, say, we pay. Oh, my yo, let's sorrow. Beauty, name, and say. In Bato, Tom, or do matter. Nimoti, and all food, I weep for sorrow. No one in Bella, see you see it. But what better use it? I want doctor, ni ni bati yare, to feel accident, to see who, to see who you are going to be. Oh, man, for come on, le man sorrow, to my bawa do do no, oh, le man sorrow, oh, si man buy a TV, ki mo la si na sri school, ma wa mo la na sri school, oh, se bi adu me tambe mo ri di panda, ni bato ni mo la si aye ni ni ki mo la si to di. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O de ti be o iya e ti ku lati omo osu mo kan la o give a round of applause to Jesus give up a round of applause to Jesus the lord has done it again elemalo elemalo this boy you are looking at is about 10 years of 10 years of age at the age of 11 months the mother had an accident while the boy was 11 months old and when the mother had an accident from that time till this moment, he could not hear and he could not speak. But tonight, while the man of God was praying, the power of God descended upon him, opened the ears, loosed the tongue, and you could hear him speak. A round of applause for Jesus. He will. He has. He has start, He has. We have just started. Another testifier. Another testifier. The Lord has done all things well. Yes. Your name. Where you came from. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Sister Alalade Temitayo, and my daughter's name is uh, Mofi Folua Alalade. It happens that about three years ago now, precisely the time there, there is uh, Ebola, uh, she was bathing. Then she just came and told me, she said, Mommy, I have a swelling at the upper, uh, lower part of my abdomen here. By the time I checked it, I took her to a doctor. The doctor checked it, she said, ah, this is Ania. I said, where can she see it? Anyway, we started praying over it. I took her to um, 
general hospital at uh, Oyo. They said she's going to be operated. I said I reject it in Jesus' name. So when we were now coming for this program, we wanted to have a, a quiet time yesterday morning. I just told her, I said, see, I'm, I'm, I'm not supposed to take you for a leader's meeting like this because uh, you, it's meant for leaders. But I'm taking all of you. Just let's pray. This problem will not come back with us. So we agreed, we pray. Then when we came here, I said, just uh, lay your hands upon it. But you see, that's in Thomas. I've already taken all our card and everything. I put it inside the car. I said, after, the, the, after leaving here, we are going to Ibadan. I will take her to UCH in Ibadan so that they can uh, diagnose it. But my mind tells me, you will not go to UCH. You will go to Ibadan for something else. What happened to her? Sitting down at the information center there. She just came. She said, ah, mommy. She said, that thing has disappeared though. I said, how do you know? She said before the, the GS message that she touched it, it was there. But that after the GS message prayer, after the prayer, she just touched it, she couldn't find it there again. And, and she will never find it again. Amen. Wait, 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 wait. Eja can want to buy you bari. Eke, hallelujah. Arabian, ya la la de. Ni wan mo oma wala ti jeri. Oma yi, oto mo dun melo. Oma dun mo kan la. Oni lati nkan bi odun meta seyin ni kini kan wu roboto si isale kun e lo wa fi han mama e pe e wa wo kini kan to wu roboto si isale kun o gba ti won mo lo sile iwo san won ni ipake ni ipake ke nbo lo ti fe ri won sha n gbe si bi su so on sugbon ka ma de na penu gba ti won de bi la le yi omo obirin yi ni pe o n fi owo kan Oni ko si mbe, a olo wa mbe ni gba kan to bere wa asu. Oni suban, la yin ti wa asu, pari ti wang ba dua. Le ye o soka. Ibi to wu, o pora. Eke aleluya. Ma lo la la fia. The next testifier. The next testifier. Check yourself anywhere you are. The miracle is there. Still. He will testify here tonight. Okay, your name and where you came from, then your testimony. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I am Brother Stephen Elam from Olodo Group of Districts. Uh, I am saved some years ago by the grace of God and uh, I'm still uh, uh, following the Lord. So March last year, I have an accident. It was a vehicle that uh, hit me on top of the Okada. So this right leg got broken and uh, I was taken to the hospital for uh, treatment. So they, they, they put uh, a, a POP. So I was at home for many uh, months. In fact, I think it's over a year now. So I have not been able to walk freely without the, these uh, uh, crutches. But by the grace of God, this night, as our Father in the Lord is ministering and praying, I just hear the kind of change and noise in my knee here. So I became somehow I became somehow very weak that I have to sit down. Then the brethren said I should uh, take courage to stand and begin to march. Then they took these crutches away from me. And that is how the Lord gave me victory over it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. SMA Jilolong Dafuan. So, ban i jamba lo so e lo mu ese keta wa won ni jamba lori okada ni nkan bi odun kan seyin nigba ni egungun ese won o fo won ba won to won de ba won de fun opolopo osu fun bi odun kan ni won fi wa nle ti won o le jade sugbon won wa la le yi pelu ese keta olorun ti gba ese keta kuro nbe O ti da pada si ese meji to da si be Olorun ti gba opa lowo won o ti wu ese yen san won ni bon ti ngba dura awon bo ti ese yen ro kokoko 
awon lagun wa o de re awon awon ba joko awon araba ni dide fi gbagbo re soju se bi awon na de se dide ese ti o se gbe tele ori gende ni ta la aro kutukutu to nlo mo do o lara o le bi ara le abi o le atewo jesu da clap offering for jesus alafia fun yin e ma lo la lafia e ma fo pa yen kale ma e to ni firin mo loruko jesu e na so ke ke fi ya photo nbe check yourself you are still there ma bo e ma bo e ma bo e ma bo won na si wa nbe oluwa sin sise lowo e ma ye wo e ye wo e ma jade check your body as you discover it done you come out your name and where you came from then your testimony i am praise the lord i am ekundayo oluwa shayo from dlcf our center i had an accident it um, august 17 2014 and i've been moved from different hospitals from edo state abelkuta and also here in Ibadan. I, under, I underwent surgery and was still I couldn't walk with the legs very well. Sometimes I tried to drop the stick, but the following day, I'll be feeling serious pain. When I came to this program, my friend told me this accident happened August, and this thing must leave August. And I believed God, and I trusted God, and today I can walk. Before I could not stand on the affected leg, but now I can stand. I can stand, I can raise my legs, I can walk. I practically ran from the back to this place. Praise the Lord! Eke aleluya. Olorun to ti se le kan si. Opa le ri ti won na soke yi. Arabirin ni ijamba oko. Lati igba yen ko le rin. O won gbe lo sile ewo san. Lati ile ewo san kan de omiran. Won se se abe fun ni ipinle do, ni ipinle eko ati ni badani bi. Sibe sibe. Only on will if yes, and yet lele, lati marin. So, bon, la lay, lay ya, do right, and I shall learn, or learn for what all, or learn bow, ba, low way. Oh, don't for parry, my Lord, call Jesu. Be both a pate wolf on Jesu. I love for Jesus. I can do him well, oh, but a wolf on Jesu. I tell why, Johnny. A clap of joy. I tell you why your knee. It is a clap of joy. Any token, come on, boy. Check up yourself. Fire. You are outside here. As the Lord has done it, praise the Lord and come inside for your testimony. Oh, that me look. Be able to see what you have been. 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 On to se mene stroke. Toba di on the 11 this month ni okwe osu kan gere to mome. Su ma mo dupe ni awo Olorun fun okan ninu awon iran se Olorun ninu ijo di pa life. Mo ngba dra fun elosan ati loru. Ni pa yi won so fun pe eto adura kan be ni igbe ibada ni ojo ni. Idinu tun mo fi tele en wa. Nda mo si wa. On to je ntin o le si tele ni ojo ana ati ni ojo eyin wa. Nigba to ji akoko yo adura yi ko ni oro fa bi pe ntin o le si tele mo se ni o ni ntin o le si na ni pe ma si se ni si ti gbo aye ti o si ri ni kin ni bo ni ele ni stroke e owo ewo ki lo se owo mejeje o ran owo otun atowo esen o kurire o kurire tin ba fe ma fi ni so o ma nko ile ti e je okay bayi wa nko e so kale bayi ke rin lo bayi ki ma wo Corny, only Latibus can say, only Latibus can say, to one buffet be a say, but I'm a colony, Bella, one of the Torima, Suba, La Lay, Lanish, Adura, Iran, Shell, Laurel. Jesu ni se iyanu o mo ro pa o mo ro se lo eyin na le ri ti won fo ti won yan fanda fanda latoni lo ise iyanu yin bankale ni loruko Jesu e ma lo lalafia go in peace our brother has been delivered from stroke 
Check up yourself. Please yeah, tell right, us. Uh, the miracle is your name. Say, you know, one where you came from, and the testimony. I'm Joy. I'm Joy Ophelia. I came from Oluyi uh, Extension, Ibadanye. I was invited to this program. So for early this year, I'll be feeling serious pain on this my left leg. At times, I can't even stand up. If I sit to stand to be a problem, to even walk, ah, I was like, what is this? So it has been disturbing me for a few months now. I can't walk well with it. So as I came to this program, when they were praying, when I even sat down to stand up, I find it difficult. So I was telling God that, ah, I can't continue like this. I can't go with this pain. God should touch this leg. I want to walk well with the leg. I want to stand up very well with it. So to my surprise, I just noticed that the leg was just a bit light. It was not that heavy unlike before when I came earlier on. So as I stood up when we were praying, I was really praying on that leg. So I think the pain now disappeared. So I want to thank God for healing that left leg and some other things in my body. Now you can walk with that leg? I walk very well with it. I can, I can. Can you bend? Bend, uh-huh. Okay, praise the Lord. Eke, hallelujah. Next Arab speaker. and enjoy. On va la tiolu yoli extension. Ni ba da wani eni kan lo kwe wwa. Baby, you should met ta sen a wwa o le. E kwe, a wwa bere si ni arari ro. Ba ak pa ni ese u si. To ba joko, la ti dide, anira. Iro ra ni ni bo kwara. Aroma le gon. To ma ro ni ni ori keri ke ara. On la ti dide. Lati narota bi lati fiyani o man nera lati kuto o ambiga lati dide mbwa mbwa ni eja dide ba dua kiro no sukma lai ya dura yana sholo no ulo da bi ni pe mo di eru si ese ni tele mo watbe kuru ese ni kan fuye lo jiji lati ba ni mo le bi ese ni mo le bi ara oni ko bere o bere oni kan na ese mo na ese. A pati she na, e se ti she ikbe I she ya, to do luwa she Yo je ban kale, e pate wa fun jeso Clap for Jesus Next person Next And it okay Check up yourself You wanna yara re wu Your miracle is there I she ya no re wa fe You testify tonight You wanna o jeri la le yi Praise the Lord Eke alleluia I jeri is bin si agba wa lor ni at 2012, ni nou ti ma anon mi Mo de ti logun Mo ye le paro mo lo juju Mo je o Mo chuban mo wati mi bale ni Olo nou tu mi si le bo bo Si tu ti mo ti lo Mo ki ni ye ma anon ni nou mi bale Mo de ye spe spe ki olo nou koshe Ya nou na ye mi Ki yon bi beji Ki yon bi meta Chuban yon nou ye fou mi ni problem Wande ni nou to nou mi ye lo nji stop mi Si mi ti fi lo nou ni Shuba mo du pa ipe iwo yo Odu to mba ta ma tu ma se ipa goy Ma gbe o mo tu tu wa si bi ba yi Amen De Ed Ok 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 God bless you Eke aleluya She has been suffering from Stomach pain Stomach ache For a long time and she has gone to different hospitals she has used different kind of thing to take care of herself including black things but all to no avail but tonight as she came she has even been barren they said it is a stomach problem that is the cause of her barrenness but after the prayer of the man of god tonight the stomach problem disappeared it has disappeared and she believed she said by this time of next year she will come to testify with her children and it shall be unto her according to her faith in the name of jesus christ yes next the testifier. next testifier and larry to come the lord is doing it for the adults he's doing it for the children He's doing it for the youth, doing it for men, doing it for women. 
check up yourself your own miracle also is there you came from praise the lord my name is jola emi faith i come from olanda group in abale district my testimony is just about when i woke up on sunday i just saw that something shocked me on my leg and my neck so when i woke up this morning i saw that i couldn't even walk very well because if i even said i should try the leg is giving me more pain so when the pastor prayed i just saw that uh, something touched my leg and i can walk i can even jump and i can turn my neck when you when you felt that something hooked your leg hook your neck and you couldn't walk how did you come here i i thank god for what he has done for me how did you get how did you get to this place i walked by my no, i mean to come to this crusade grand okay. my parents brought me here how did they, they carried you here no i just tried but my leg was sending me if i walk for two minutes okay, it just pain me the pain is no more there now yes and you are very free yes praise the lord I said praise the Lord. Are omode birin yi Olorun ti fi owo kan oni o nji laaro ojo Sunday. Lo kan ri pe nkan kan kan da bi eni wi pe o de ese ohun o de orun ohun ohun o le yi orun ohun o de le pe ese yen dada sugbon ese yen ma nro sa ni sugbon leni nigba to de bi awon obi e lo mu wa sibi but to debi ti ran se olorun gbadua ise iya no sele wahala re o ti lo patapata praise the lord eke haleluya we thank god for tonight adupe lowo olorun fun asale what god are doing among us tonight fun ti olorun ti se laarin wa lai that healing be permanent in jesus name ewo sanyen yo si je ba n ta le loruko je Let's rise up to pray.